Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> From that intro, I'm sure you guys know by now that I'm going to be talking about this 18th. 18th, yes. The 18th annual Cape Town International Jazz Festival that happened over the past weekend. Friday, like issue the lineup on Friday wasn't that great. I only was looking forward to Tom Mitch and Mango Groove. Um, but most people were like keen for Invoke. Like I don't know. I, I don't know who Invoke was. Went to Tom Mitch. Guys, like Jazz Fest did him dirty. Like they gave him the smallest venue. Like usually like baseline has like a tent or whatever that's like, you know, pretty big and can fit people. This time, I don't know, like he was just put into this corner. And I'm like, wow, Buji, cop make like corner. Like I couldn't even take a video of his performance because it was just it was so tiny and like a lot of people wanted to see um him perform and it was kind of unfortunate that he got such a bad venue. But his performance was good. People seemed like they were happy and they enjoyed his performance. Um, but sure, I went to Mango Groove. I only knew like one song from Mango Groove. Okay, two. I love the energy, like even though they're old, like literally like everyone was getting down um, and having a great time. But wow, there was this one backup dancer. Energy, like literally, like she was doing the most, and like, see, see, like, have you forgotten that you're not the lead vocalist? You know? So, Saturday, Saturday was the day that people really were looking forward to. Can everybody say hell yeah? Hell yeah. Say hell yeah. hell yeah! Say hell yeah! Hell yeah. And now, scream! I went to the internet because there's a friend of mine, Mafusi, who is in love with the internet. And I was like, you know what, like, let me go check them out. And much to my surprise, I really enjoyed the performance. Like, they were just like so chilled, you know, and everyone was going crazy, like, ah, now I'm getting back, ah. Like, even though I knew, like, none of their songs, I really liked the vibe and, you know, just they're so cool. Until this, um, the female girl, the vocalist, Sid, Sid, man, yeah, she performed. <laughs> You know this song, you know it. And at that moment, I was like, wow, like I'm not all that bad. Like at least I knew one song from the internet. So after the internet was our student. But wow, what you just the disrespect to see see oh mama mama. Oh I'm sorry, mama. She sang 10 songs that I don't know. I don't know if, if anyone else knew them because no one else was singing along. 10 songs, I don't know, maybe probably from a new album that she's promoting, or whatever. Like we didn't know it. We didn't know the songs. Tina, we wanted as our fan favorites. Oh, a cry, a smile, and a dance. Oh, Memutswadi. You know, the songs that we know. Does she not sing them at the end? Because Rosie is like is an auditorium and it was like one of the smaller venues and you had to buy tickets um, to get into it and Guys, there was low-key a stampede like everyone was going there and The venue and the the route to the venue only allowed for the amount of people that are actually meant to be in the venue I uh, sign up by force by fire people are pushing They want to go to Tanji so they want to and literally like Right until the end, where you have to present your ticket, do people realize, oh, 
damn, like they're being serious, like you really have to have a ticket. Only then are people scrambling now. Hey, sorry, do you have an extra ticket for me? Do you can, can you please get me in? Tennis one was uh, unashamed. Nah, yeah, I don't know, maybe Judith and Tennis were, were like comparing notes and giving each other advice. Same thing. As an attorney, so I was performing songs that I didn't know about. I was there for Sizu Zabala, Zabala, Zabala. I was there for Ninga Nina Nizaba Ngoba. You know, I'm there for the favorites, I'm there for the classics. I, Sana, she's performing. There was even a lady in the audience that was like, Tandy is so la la go, yo. Yeah, Anashem. ESP Africa, K2 International Jazz Festival, please, Nan. Ella next year. Line up in Gronia, I'll be dry. You guys need to bring back the old bass line, which is like a tent. Um, Rosie's and Moses Mulelekwa, those stages, those auditoriums, you guys need to, I don't know, there needs to be a better flow of traffic. Otherwise, Gronia goes next year. We're going to, there are going to be reports of people dying in a stampede at the Jazz Festival and that isn't cute. That's all I have to say about the Jazz Fest. Um, I think I'll be there next year, I'm not sure. But thanks for watching my video. Please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Bye! <laughs>